So hello there and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tammy Bakshi and today I'm joined by Scott D'Angelo. Thank you very much Scott for joining in today. Uh, really glad to have you on the show. Would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Scott D'Angelo. Uh, I work for IBM as a developer and I produce code patterns. That's great. So just in case you were actually watching, uh, around last week I published a video with Rich Haggerty. He's also a part of your team. Uh, code patterns, of course, being little building blocks of code that you as developers can take from people like Scott who are developing them and actually implement them in your apps, modify them however you want to, or even combine them and make your own applications. But really quickly, Scott, specifically, what kinds of technologies are you passionate about or interested in? Well, AI, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to work with the IBM's Watson tools, okay. uh, and so I get to work with artificial intelligence and mm -hmm. machine learning, uh, and I think today we're going to demonstrate something that uses virtual reality, which is another fascinating topic. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Scott. That's right. Uh, Scott here is very interested in virtual reality, VR, and of course, I actually already have a YouTube tutorial on virtual reality, and it was done with Michael Luden, who used to work for IBM as well. There will be a link to that down in the description below. In fact, that work that Michael did has now been adapted and applied as a code pattern that you can go ahead and download from the IBM website, and Scott over here is going to be showing that to us, and it'll show us how exactly this VR application works. In fact, if you at home don't have an actual VR headset, no need to worry. You can use one of these Google Cardboard or practically any kind of cardboard headset that you get and you can actually run it on your own phone uh, and actually take a look at virtual reality without having to have any fancy hardware or headsets. And the best part is, this isn't just any virtual reality application. This is combined with IBM Watson's speech-to-text and text-to-speech to create a kind of speech sandbox. Would you like to elaborate a bit more on how exactly the app works? Yeah, so basically we use speech-to-text and the Watson Assistant uh, tool to implement voice commands. So it, the idea being in virtual reality, you know, you can have a handset, you can use various artifacts to manipulate the virtual reality, but what in the real world, we naturally affect the world with our voices. We ask yes. for things, we interact with our, with, with our voices. So this is a way for you to use the Unity game development e engine along with IBM's Watson, mm -hmm. uh, the speech to text and the, and the Watson assisted tools and implement voice commands to have the virtual reality respond in any way you want. That's great. Now though, let's head over to the coding part where we're going to take a look at a demo of the application in action. And then once we take a look at a demo, we'll go a little bit into the code and show you how you can actually modify it to work with your own objects, to work with your own commands. And then from there, if you'd like to deploy it on your own virtual reality headset or even on Unity, you can go ahead and download the code pattern in the description below. Let's head over to the code. Create a large black box. Create a large red box. Destroy. Move up. Create a large red ball. I like to do something up here on the mountains for fun. Create a large green ball. So your Unity project has lots of assets, all the, the icons, graphics, tools. We're really interested in the uh, script that does all the work. So if we look in the scripts directory, we have speech sandbox streaming. And this is where we instantiate our speech to text and our Watson assistant using credentials, which we can set in the, uh, in the Unity editor. And the instructions for that are in the GitHub repo under the readme. You set these uh, credentials you instantiate your speech to text and your Watson assistant and then uh, the, the the script will do all the work to translate your voice commands to uh, text and then send that text off to the Watson assistant service so here in on recognize we see where the speech to text service is, is uh, getting some some data and uh, once it gets some it sends it off to the conversations message method and that's where the intents and entities are extracted uh, using the Watson Assistant service. So you can change these intents and, and, and entities to be whatever it is you'd like. You can have any intent, any verb, like create, destroy, up, whatever. Uh, you can have any 
entity, uh, the size of the ball, the color, uh, etc. Uh, so if we go into the on message method, uh, we'll see that you can uh, use the parsing of these intents and entities. And uh, once we're inside there, uh, let's see here. So here the on message method uh, is where we, we look at these intents and entities. Uh, for example, if the intent is move, uh, we can go ahead and call our game managers create object. First, if the intent is move, we call game man manager move object, and that's where you implement the logic to, to, to move the object. So if you're implementing your own commands, you'll, you'll put the method into your game manager or whatever, and that's where it'll happen. If the intent is create, first we're looking at materials. We're looking at scale. Uh, we're trying to figure out some of the, the entities around it. And then we call game manager create object. So this is another method that I've implemented that you can look up. But the main point is that here is where you'll add your own voice commands, move, create, destroy. You can replace them. You can, you can add whatever you like. And then in the game manager, that's where you call the method associated with, with that voice command. So pretty straightforward. It's all open source code. You can, you can modify it in any way you want, use it in your own application, and uh, you'll be able to implement whatever voice command you want. You'll just have to also go to the Watson Assistant, add your own entities, your own intents. You can play around with that as well. All right, so thank you very much, Scott, for joining in today uh, and helping me out demonstrating virtual reality and how you can actually take even things like the cardboard or even actual proper virtual, re virtual reality headsets like the HTC Vive and go ahead and create your own applications that use Watson to create even better virtual reality experiences. Again, thank you very much, Scott. And that's what we had for this tutorial today. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining in today. That's what we had for this tutorial. I do hope you enjoyed. If you do have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, you can email that to either me or Scott. So, Scott, how can people contact you? Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel, Scott D'Angelo, uh, and just put a comment in on any of the videos that, that describe this. You can contact me at scott.dangelo at ibm.com or scott.dangelo at, at gmail.com. That's perfect. All of your contact will be down in the description below, so you can go ahead and email or message Scott if you'd like to. And of course, my contact, my email, Twitter, and of course, uh, you can leave down any suggestions or feedback that you have down in the comments as well, and Scott and I would love to get back to you. Apart from that, if you did like this video, please make sure to leave a like, and if you really do like a bunch of the content on this channel, please do make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining in today. Thank you, Scott. Bye-bye.